Speaking of local athletes in the pros, believe it or not, NFL Draft Week is already here. Yeah, several college football players are hoping to get a life-changing call this week. Logan Campbell joins us now in studio. Yeah, Rachel and Cullen, one of those players hoping to get a call is this guy right here, former NDSU defensive end Spencer Wagey. I was able to go down to his family's farm to see what a day in the life is like for the defensive end leading up to the NFL Draft. 135 miles down I-29, you'll find a small town in South Dakota called South Shore, a town with a population of 191. One of those people is NDSU defensive end Spencer Wagey. And his family's farm where he grew up. This, I gotta introduce all these guys. This one's Wilmer. Oh, you buddy, back up, your bottle's in there. Back up, it's right here, there you go. And then this little dude's Delilah. So when did you start getting Spencer in the, this kind of stuff? How old is he? Oh my God. <laughs> Two months. <laughs> hey, they were down here, because uh, we used to milk cows, and that's where we milk cows is in here. And all these guys would be down here just little farts, you know, just playing and doing whatever, wondering where they were at. I had sidewalk chalk. They'd sit in here and draw or out there and draw on the sidewalk chalk, you know, and play. And Spence has always been... I don't know what you want to say. A putz. <laughs> I don't know about that one now. He's always more to just goofing around and not taking stuff seriously, you know. But you are Spence. <laughs> he is a putz, though. <laughs> that putz realizing at a young age his dream is bigger than working on the family farm. It's actually funny because, like, I remember we'd play games in the front yard here. It was just, uh, at the time, really, it was, you know, my dad, me, my older brother Walker, and Hunter, when he was old enough, he would be out there running around with us, and um, you know we'd have games going, and you know just, just times like that, you know you thought you were gonna play in the NFL, and that was the dream. The original dream? He always wanted to be a kicker. That you know, you know he's got the goalpost back here, and that was this thing. If he ever mentioned the NFL, he would say, "I'm gonna be a kicker in the NFL." I thought that was always just a really cool thing, and um, you know I couldn't tell you how many times, I, how many hours I spent out there kicking footballs through that goalpost. But in high school. That all changed. I think I kicked my for my freshman football team, but then after that, you know, I hit my growth spurt and got a little bigger and um, realized I'm probably not going to be a kicker anymore. Fast forward big. four years later. That's that was so awesome. just a couple days before he left to go up for. Well, that's what it was that long ago. Spencer's football career started to take off while repping the green and gold. Gronowski, down he goes. Spencer Wagey. Now he's getting a shot at making it to the big leagues as a defensive end. Spencer Wagey! Did you ever think you would have a kid that could play in the NFL? Oh. <laughs> Not a, I never even played football. I've never played on a football team in my life. So no, I didn't think he'd ever, I'd ever have a kid that even have a shot at the NFL or anything. And it's his blue collar roots. Logan, you'll get a kick of this one back here. That helps shape him into the player that he is today. You've seen him with calves out here earlier, you know, and them are little ones that you get ones that are two months old and you can't catch them. Well, and when you're taking them to the pasture, you gotta be vaccinating these calves and stuff. So I'd always tell all the boys, say, well, go catch that calf, you know. And they're like, well, I can't catch him. I was like, I don't wanna hear, I can't catch him. <laughs> you're gonna catch him, you know. So that's always, it's, Spencer, you know, if he didn't catch one, even now, if he wouldn't catch one, I'd just give him a bad time up one side and down the other. You know, it's like, oh, you can't catch a calf, you know? So that gives him that little extra push, like, well, I'm going to do it, you know? And we always made jokes that it was, you know, one of the best agility workouts for us. And, you know, you'd try and grab one and you'd have it and it would, um, you'd grab by its back leg and it would slip through your hand or something and get away. And right away, it's just like, you didn't want to even look at dad because he was, he had some comment waiting and he was like, oh, there goes the ball carrier. That's a touchdown or just something like that, he would say. And you, you didn't want it to feel like it really was that close, like similar to football. But in reality, you know I mean, hey, he, he kind of had a point. It was kind of right. Can you get out of there? What are you doing in there? Wherever Spencer ends up, his country flair is coming with. So even though he comes from basically the middle of nowhere, if you want to say, he'll fit in anywhere because that's just who he is and how he how he functions and stuff. So as far as being from the country, I think it actually helps him. I think he might get more respect, if you want to say, from certain players and coaches. I'm probably going to get some funny looks walking around the locker room and cowboy boots and jeans and everything else and some pearl snaps. But, you know, I mean, that's just, that's who I am. And, um, you know, it's not going to change no matter where I'm at. She's a fan. But no matter what happens, the defensive end will always find his way back to the farm. We'll all kind of take over. They just, my football career is kind of coming first. Hopefully if all goes well, you know, I really won't have to do much when I come back. <laughs>
Spencer is planning on keeping it low key for the draft and just hanging out with family and friends on the farm.